Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim So I welcome you all in this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the role of uh, jack set pathway and uh, what is the importance of this jack set pathway and what are the significance uh, paradigms one should know about the associations and those probable factors which could attribute to this signaling cascade. So briefly before we uh, go into any um, what you can say the additional details we should know about what are the salient elements that are responsible for the activation of JXZ pathway. So there are primarily if we, if we talk about the association of JXZ pathway then there are uh, four or what you can say conventionally there are three core elements which are being involved in this regard and they are generally called as interferons and uh, we can say erythropoietins erythropoietins and then we also know that the thrombo thrombopoietins are also being influenced by this so erythropoietins now these are those kind of ligands which are on communication with the what you, what you can say with the cell they need a receptor now these receptors are generally uh, lack what you can say tyrosine kinase domain but they have a functional similarities and uh, let me draw over here a blue color receptor this blue color receptor is called as JK if I label it as then the spells you you could see are genus kinase now how genus kinase is trying to communicate a message inside the cell that now we need to respond so these are the receptor and these genus kinase lack any tyrosine kinase domain inside them but they have a property of phosphorylation of tyrosines present on their cytoplasmic portion so upon the exposure they try to engage in phosphorylate so once they are phosphorylated they try to bring certain other proteins which are freely floating inside the cytoplasm and these proteins are called as SAT S A T SAT and we can say SAT1 and we can label the other one as um, let me write it as SAT2 there are like five or six SAT protein molecules I am grossly speaking about two over here SAT1 and SAT2 so these uh, proteins gain an attention that they also try to find and interact with this activated form of genus kinase receptor. So upon their binding, upon their binding, they also form a complex within each other. So both these proteins, SAT1 and SAT2, dimerize. SAT1 and SAT2 dimerize. So this dimerization this dimerization is very important because this dimerization induces a signal and it is responsible for its uh, what you can say it's in it is responsible for induction of certain messages inside the nucleus to increase the transcription of uh, proliferative factors these proliferative factors may be called as MEC and then they are also responsible for the suppression of certain uh, pro apoptotic genes like BCL which is responsible and it should be spread BCL anti apoptotic properties should be increased so uh, increased expression of CMAC is done by SAT complex SAT S T A T and SAT basically means signal transducers of signal transducer of activators and transcriptions signal transducers of activator and transcription of transcription signal transducers of activators and transcription and transcription so they are basically meant for so they are the signal transducers of activator and transcription and transcription you can say right now they are a 
and signal transducers are activated in transcription factors. Now, once these are uh, signal transducers are being induced, these uh, signal transducers dimerize, and these dimerization is being influenced by certain factors, and those factors are called tyrosine phosphorylations. Now, these tyrosine phosphorylations are, is a two-way streak. The phosphor for the phosphorylated tyrosine present in SAT2 actually have a binding affinity and it's being uh, binding affinity. I'm writing it down over here just to remember that this binding affinity is basically holding it as a what you can say ball and socket like shape. So you can say that this ball and socket like appearance of SAT1 and SAT2 complex is meant by this tyrosine phosphorylation done by JK complex. Okay, so that is the reason of binding affinity of both these receptors, SAC1 and SAC2, to trigger the process. And then once the JK pathway is activated, JKS pathway, SAT pathway is being activated, it is responsible for the uh, progression of cells. Then this pathway role is mainly pronounced in hematopoietic systems and all those factors which are rarely addressed in terms of growth signals as we conventionally say in uh, EGFR and FGFR pathway. So that is the briefest introduction of jag stack pathway. We have learned that apart from epidermal growth factor kinase activity, there are some uh, alternate mechanisms which are also available and cell communicates this message through these routes. Alright, thank you very much for your time and attention. Go to clear. Come.